Breck and Frisco Councils hear the latest on $6.3 million in combined capital projects. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News. First, tomorrow is grand opening of the newest resort in Breckenridge, the Ranahan by Welk Resorts on Highway 9, and you might have gone right past the property without knowing it. But that's kind of the point. The reason we picked that property or that area, one of the reasons, other than the beauty, is the history, the gold mining and the ranching. That was Sean Coogan, vice president with Welk Resorts. Most of their properties are in Southern California, and this is their first in Colorado, bringing old school Breck to 50,000 timeshare holders company-wide. We're trying to tap into the 1800s and creating this story of the times of old when they did do the gold mining and they had the ranchers. 20 years ago, most Welk owners were 65 or older, but the Ranahan is not a retirement resort. I would say it's more in the 45. Um, it's probably mom, dad have one or two kids. The Ranahan's lobby bar is open to the public. All other amenities are for owners only. The Ranahan also comes with on-site housing for up to seven employees. The game plan is to house you know, a good chunk of our uh, housekeepers, as well as a couple of our leadership. Employee housing was part of the master plan required by the town of Breck when resort company CEO John Fredericks bought the property in 2013. We're fortunate uh, the town of Breckenridge did allow us to have some employee housing, and we have some of our folks uh, on the backside of the property where we house them. The Ranahan had a soft opening after Thanksgiving. As of tomorrow, it is open year-round. A tense confrontation between Keystone safety patrollers and a local snowboarder went viral last week, earning the snowboarder a safety violation and hundreds of thousands of views on his YouTube page. Yeah, I can't afford to not be riding. I mean, this you is, can, you this can is like really need a safety golf. class because we snowboard here every this day. Is, I there's, there's, one, there's one today at 3.30. You can get it done today, guys. The snowboarder says he was not speeding on School Marm Green Run, while Sarah Lococo with Keystone says mountain safety was justified. Speed is in the eye of the patroller. It's definitely up to the discretion of the mountain safety person out there at that time and what they're observing on the slopes, but always with the mindset of we're just trying to maintain a beginner, family-friendly experience on that specific trail. Keystone has several slow zones, same as Breckenridge, where yellow jackets are more visible on weekends and holidays. The Coco's advice? We have a ton of other terrain where it is much more appropriate to, to go a little faster, to enjoy those kits and features on a trail, and School Marm's just not the right place for that type of activity. All three and a half miles of School Marm is a slow zone, plus the Scout and Discovery Bunny Hills and the base of most chairlifts. It's a third straight summer of cheese when those guys, the the String Cheese Incident play two dates at the Dillon Amphitheater July 14th and 15th. Tickets are on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. unless you are a local. Tomorrow only from 3 to 6.30 p.m. is a locals pre-sale party at Affordable Music and Pug Ryan's in Dillon. They've got 200 tickets just for locals. Get yours downstairs from 3 to 5 p.m. then head to Pugs from 5 to 6.30 for a raffle, drinks, and ticket giveaway. That's 3 to 6.30 p.m. tomorrow for SCI pre-sale tickets at Affordable Music and Pug Ryan's. Hundreds of hockey players on 48 teams and four adaptive teams raised $100,000 at the Dog Nation Pond Hockey Tournament in Silverthorne over the weekend. Organizer Martin Richardson. We have now given away almost $1.7 million to families in need and um, it's a testament to the hockey community but also a testament to the incredible number of volunteers that step up. That cash goes to folks like Dave Repture, a local Flight for Life nurse nearly killed in a 2015 helicopter crash, and Megan Lococo, a front-range mother, given $40,000 this weekend. Sadly, about a month ago, her husband, who was a very fit guy, 39 years old, scored a goal in a recreation hockey game down in the Denver area. And after he scored, he went to celebrate, had a massive heart attack, and sadly passed away right there on the ice. Dog Nation awarded a total of $56,000 over the weekend. The remaining funds go into reserve for dozens of requests every year. A downtown parking structure and phase two of marina renovations are on town council agendas in Breckenridge and Frisco tonight. At the Breck work session happening right now, council hears the latest on the parking structure with 962 spaces on the South Gondola lot at a price of $3 million for phase one. The town planning commission approved the project in December. It now needs council approval and a final CDOT traffic study before construction begins this coming spring. At the Frisco Council meeting, Council hears about work happening this summer at Frisco Bay Marina, including $3.3 million for a new guest services building and restaurant. Plans also call for renovations to Island Grill and sidewalks. 
In sports, the Avalanche played the Stars tonight at 7. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon. Summit High Wrestling is at home today for a meet with Clear Creek and Middle Park. Boys and girls basketball travel to Glenwood Springs. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.